Bohemian Grove intruder says he feared human sacrifices. By Randy Rossman and Laurie A. Carter The Sonoma Press Democrat 122 Richard McCaslin planned a heavily armed assault on the exclusive Bohemian Grove Men's Club for more than a year, believing it would take something dramatic to draw attention to human sacrifices he feared were being held there. In a jailhouse interview Monday night, the well-spoken, lucid and clean-shaven man said he wanted to make a point and was prepared to kill people at the Monte Rio Resort if necessary. McCaslin, 37, is being held in the mental health ward of the Sonoma County Jail, facing several felony charges stemming from his commando-like entry into the Grove this weekend. McCaslin, who calls himself the Phantom Patriot, said he doesn't belong to any militia, the National Rifle Association or any religious group, fearing he'd be immediately pigeonholed and not taken seriously. McCaslin said he thinks he is sane. They might beg to differ, he said with a laugh, pointing his thumb behind him into the mental health ward. On Saturday night, McCaslin went to the Grove armed with a semi-automatic rifle shotgun hybrid, a .45 caliber handgun, a crossbow, a two-foot long sword, a knife and a handmade bomb launcher. Wearing a skeleton mask and carrying several of the weapons, he sneaked past guard houses into the grove near the Russian River. Each summer, the grove is home to a private men-only gathering that attracts former Republican presidents, powerful business leaders and other influential figures. Though he knew the annual grove gathering was months before, he thought there still would be people there. I expected heavy resistance, he said. But he got none. He also carried a camouflage-colored Bible, poems he'd written and pamphlets about his motives and concerns. One pamphlet included a reference to an Old Testament verse from Leviticus above a crossed-out Bohemian club insignia. He said he left the papers at the base of a huge owl idol. After his arrest, he told detectives that he had come to the Bohemian Grove to kill child molesters and those performing human sacrifices. He planned on killing people, Sonoma County Sheriff Sergeant Steve Brown said. He planned on confronting people doing these weird things. His fears of the alleged events were based on a videotape put out a few years ago by radio host Alex Jones, who claims on his website that bizarre, Luciferian ceremonies occur there. Jones could not be reached for comment Monday. McCaslin said the tape was fuzzy and didn't show any faces. It appeared to have been taken surreptitiously by Jones from as far as 200 yards from the Owl Idol during the Grove's annual and highly secret cremation of care ceremony. But he said he could make out the form of a wrapped infant, which he believed was real and alive, being sacrificed. He also heard more on Jones' radio show a few months ago about legendary and secret goings-on at the private 2,000-acre Bohemian Grove that solidified his desire to take action. A Marine in the early 1980s and a former stuntman at Six Flags Amusement Park in Texas, McCaslin isn't married and has no children. Otherwise, he said, he couldn't have taken on the act. That wouldn't be responsible, he said. He said he legally bought the weapons over time. He said he considered the legal and personal consequences if he was caught, and what his prison time could be depending on the whether he killed someone. Last July. He made a reconnaissance mission to the Grove. He wanted to make sure it really existed and how to get there. In late December, McCaslin said he moved to Carson City, Nev, from Austin, Texas. He got an apartment and spent a few weeks blending in, finalizing his plans. If I chickened out, I liked Nevada, I could live there, he said. On Saturday, he drove his pickup to Sonoma County and parked in the dark near the Grove. After sneaking inside the grounds, McCaslin said he heard only a couple of voices and realized there was no one there but security. After about an hour, his flashlight died. It was pitch black under the redwoods and his efforts to sneak around were hampered. He couldn't find the tall owl statue and eventually slept on a mattress in a cabin, waiting for dawn. With the early light, he found the owl quickly and left his marks and papers. Not wanting the trip to have been in vain, he said he went into a dining hall, and using degreaser and some flammable materials, set an admittedly poorly made fire. I'm not an arsonist, he said. The fire was doused by a sprinkler system, but the fire alarm alerted security. McCaslin knew he'd been spotted and began walking out of the grove. 
sheriff's deputies and CHP officers, called by Grove security officers, arrived and confronted McCaslin, who was wearing the skeleton mask and carrying the MK1 assault rifle shotgun, loaded with 70mm shotgun slugs and a full 30 shell magazine of .223 caliber bullets. He also was wearing a bulletproof vest and a blue uniform similar to what police SWAT team members wear. On opposite shoulders, he wore patches of the Democrats donkey and the Republican elephant, each within crossed out red circles. McCaslin said he waited behind a tree, wondering whether the officers were legitimate or part of the Bohemian conspiracy and planned to kill him to cover up his efforts. When the officers did not shoot, McCaslin said he knew they were legitimate and then took the hard way out, putting down his weapons and giving up peacefully. Brown said the officer showed great restraint during the confrontation and were relieved when McCaslin put his gun down. Detectives describe McCaslin as an intelligent, well-read man who is a fan of American history and government actions. He has no criminal record. Although some of beliefs may seem bizarre, Brown said, McCaslin did not appear to be mentally unstable. He thinks Timothy McVeigh was programmed by the government to blow up Oklahoma City, he said and that Osama bin Laden has a company that George Bush is a partner in. But he's not dumb. His beliefs are just a little different, Brown said. McCaslin will be arraigned Wednesday on six felony charges. HTTP www.pressdemocrat.com slash